welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Uh, welcome to actually vlog as well today. St. Patrick's Athletic taking on Red Star Belgrade in the UEFA Under 19s Youth Championship. This is the first leg at Richmond Park, guys. So uh, looking forward to this one. It's massive for the League of Ireland. It's massive for uh, St. Patrick's Athletic as well. Um, you know, Pat's obviously the under-19 champions from a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, I don't think Dara Burns, uh, Ben McCormick or James Abankwa will be playing today. So that's a little unfortunate for St. Pat's, but it's understandable with the draw of the game this Friday. Um, could there have been something done um, within the league that they could have maybe postponed the game against Drotted or something? I don't know. I don't know. That's a, another discussion, I suppose. However... Pat still have a lot of good players playing today. People mainly know Josh Keeley, goalkeeper, under-19, uh, player of the year. Uh, Keen Corbley in the middle of the park, who's featured for Pats, as has Tommy Lonergan, when I say featured for Pats. Featured for the first team, the senior men's team. A lot of these guys have been trained with the senior men's team as well. So, um, look, that's fantastic. But um, Ross Fay is another one to keep an eye on. We might have uh, Murphy as well playing. And, um, you know, they're just some of the names, guys, that um, I suppose have to watch out for tonight. So, very interesting to see how this goes. It'll be interesting to see how good Red Star as well. No doubt they're a good side. And, um, look, there's only 500 fans, I believe, allowed in because of the restrictions, UEFA restrictions. But hopefully the fans get behind Pats. And, uh, look, I'm optimistic. Let's go for Pats 2-0. See you in there. like that to free automatically ref fuck me ah here come on that 
Fuck me. Lines when you see now. Fuck off. Ah, really? Fuck you, ref. Seriously, come on the fuck. Fucking hell. Some crack at the score here though. My oh, lads. Oh, it's going on target as well. Oh, go oh. Nice dive and ref in the box. Come on. Fuck off. Out left. Not gone, not gone. Love him. <laughs> oh, just come get it. Don't score now. Oh, that's a killer, no? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, good defending ish. Oh no. What's going on here? Oh, he's in. Skill. Oh, fuck. Unlucky. Who was that, McCormick? Hang on. Was it? Oh, it's in. Oh, look at this. That wall is huge, fuck me. He's a man! Deserve that! Deserve that! So, guys, just in for Mitchell Park. Uh, finished in Pats 1, Red Star, Belgrade 2. Uh, very, very, very good performance by this Pats side. I mean, I was very impressed with them. And I mean impressed. Uh, we'll go back to the start, I guess. And after 10 minutes, you know, Pats looked like they were going to get run ragged and outclassed in this game. They conceded a very early goal. I was worried. I was worried they created a number of chances, Red Star. Uh, first half, they did have some good chances. Josh Keeley made one absolutely tremendous save and a few good saves to boot. Um, very, very good young goalkeeper, Josh. And, you know, probably should be in the under-19 squad. And he's one to watch, that's for sure. Um, distribution throughout the game was very good as well. Um, referee and officials, first half in particular. I don't know what they're at. I mean, part is, uh, part is on here. I mean, Red Star were going down. Um, like flies. Um, one their players should have been sent off. I think the foul was on Keen Corbley, but it was a ridiculous challenge. A red card all day. I think it was uh, Young Webb as well, Reese Webb, who picked up a yellow card, which was ridiculous because the the, uh, the Belgrade player had actually dragged him down off the ball. So I don't know what happened there, but some stupid things went on there. Pats worked their way back into the game after that. I'm Grew in confidence in that first half. Keane Corbley pulling the strings in midfield. What a player, guys. What a player Keane Corbley is. Uh, I love midfield players. I've said it before. 
Um, this guy can play. I mean, rarely loses the ball. Low centre of gravity. Uh, head up the whole time. What a player. And he got better in the second half as well. He was brilliant. He was arguably the best player on the pitch. Um, yeah, 2-0 at half time. I thought it was a little harsh. It was disappointing to see the goal right in half time. Second half, though, we get the introduction of Ben McCormick. Uh, ben added to the midfield as well. Corbyn came into it even more. Uh, Ross Fay as well. Um, Jimmy Dunn, by the way, um, was very good down the right hand side for Pats as well. I can't say any of the Pats players are bad, by the way. None of the players are bad. They were all very good. They all played within a team system. And it's great to see, you know, a League of Ireland team at that age group play against a very, very good side. These were a very good side, by the way. But Pats put pressure on them in the second half and had a number of opportunities. Um, it was hard to see because we're behind the goal, uh, the patron stand. So it's hard to see exactly at the other end uh, who the chances fell to. But, um, you know, we had chances. We had chances to score. And you're thinking to yourself... You know, please get one. They deserve to get one at least. And to be honest, if you get one, you're taking the ties on over yet. Um, and it didn't look like the goal was going to come, to be honest. It didn't look like it was going to come, but brilliant ball in by Ben McCormick in the last minute. And I think it might have been Luke O'Brien who, who finished it. And it was well as. <coughs> and I think it might have been Luke O'Brien who finished it. And it was well deserved. The keeper made a very good save. He had a number of chances as well in the half. I think Webb had a chance that just went wide. There was a few other chances as well. And we were creating chances, playing good football, playing from the back. Everyone's very comfortable in the ball. Uh, defenders, goalkeeper, midfielders, uh, up front, wingers, whoever. Every one of these Pats players are very comfortable in the ball and they know how to play. And that was, it was great to see. I don't think 2-1 reflected the game. Even though Pats got a late goal, I think they deserve more. Um, but they're going to be very proud of their performance it was a really really good performance particularly after suffering that late, uh, that early setback and that setback right in half time I mean this past team as well we're talking about under 19s most of them are 16, 17 it's incredible 16, 17 year olds taking the pitch most of them are and taking the game to Red Star particularly in that second half and you know I'm not ruling them out of the second leg Red Star are going to be favourites there's no doubt I'm not ruling them out of the second leg though Um. Really impressive stuff from, from St. Patrick's Athletic in this game. It really was. Um, as I said, from the goalkeeper to the forwards, really, really good. Keely, to be honest, should be in the Irish under 19 squad rather as well. Um, he really should. Really good goalkeeper. Very good. Um, very good with his feet as well. And you can see he's probably learning a bit from Yaris as well, which is great for Pats as well, I think, because he'll probably use, lose Yaris next year. Um, King Corbett, as I said, McCormick, brilliant in the second half. Those two players, and the future is great for Pats. It really is. You look at them there, and certain positions, uh, the senior team probably don't need to add too much next season. Promote these a little more, um, because these can play. I can tell you that now, guys. Uh, you do need experienced players, of course you do, but you know, going into next season for the senior side, promote some of these guys because they're good. Right, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the result, more importantly, and what Pats can do going forward and what you thought of their performance if you're at the game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And see you again, guys. Good luck.